Welcome on to the Iron Elementalist build update highlight, whatever you want to call it, for patch 1.2. Uh, so Pirate Set is a really, really strong set on this patch for two reasons. Reason number one being it is a region-based set and region got buffed. We have like over 5k region here without procs and you can get like pretty much 10k with procs, which is already kind of crazy. And then also Motor Trap has been buffed because this build now can like summon three motors at once which just like with the Lugigan Druid means that you are stacking the dots from the motors much much easier as well um, and the, the motors have like they have like a harder time hitting the enemy compared to totems but they have better AOE compared to totems so it's it's kind of like equal-ish I would say for for bosses maybe like totems are still a bit more comfortable but like for running, for example, Shadow Realm, um, I would dare to say this build is arguably maybe even faster than Dujigan Druid. Um, also, keep in mind this is a Elementalist, this is not like a Shebreaker or a Sorcerer, both of which can dish out even more damage. Elementalist was, back then when I made this character, more like the, well, meme <laughs> version of this build, to be honest. Um, also back then, like, Elementalist doesn't really have like that many builds. However, Elementalist is nice now in this build because Elementalist is a well, like region heavy class, like the percent region on Heart of Wild, the flat region on Mogdogan's Pact, and then of course the region on Vindictive Flame. So, uh, and it also still has resistance reduction from like Raging Tempest, even like on the damage side it's not doing all too bad, even though you can see the Shaman Tree is very empty here, and you get some like percent absorption from the Prime Bond. On Demolitionist side we have percent fire damage of course from Flame Touched, we have one point temper and then like Flat Absorption from Blast Shield, and then Resistance Reduction from Thermite Mine, and then basically Mortar Trap is our main ability, and also pretty much like our only ability here in this case. If you're playing the Arcanist version with like Devastation, you would have Devastation. If you're playing the Shebreaker version, you would have the Gardens of Empyrean helping you out with damage. But honestly, even Elementalist is very, very fun and fine on this patch, like, uh, you could say, like, maybe the set is so pure on this patch that, like, even the Elementalist is good now. Anyway, you are getting for Devotions, of course, you are going for Torch, right, for damage, Behemoth, Regen, Magi for damage, Alaros Phoenix for, like, Absorb and some damage, and then, of course, Scythe always together with Behemoth for, like, Regen, and then, of course, also Rowan's Crown for Resistance Reduction, and Turtle for, like, an extra Safety Net. Uh, even though the regen is ridiculously high on a build like this, you can, if you're not careful, still sometimes get bursts down. So you have to keep that in mind. Well, and the reason why you're getting bursts down is because they have like low fizz rests, uh, not the best armor, and also actually not the best defensive ability in this case. But of course, if you have like better gear and or you're playing like a different class, then maybe you can have more OA, more DA, more armor, and more physical resistance when it comes to the gear we i am using hex flame hex flame of course for resistance reduction to thermite mine and additional burn damage and also a full conversion to motor trap so this is uh, obviously very 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 good and you kind of have to play this one right very nice also as you can see if you're playing arcana's old keeper you would get like another plus one all skills here to those classes so yeah, elementalist is like i guess not supposed to be played on this build pyron four piece pyron is obviously the core of the set. This one also converts your traps. This one also gives you like tons of regen, uh, OA, 7% even, and also converts the lightning damage of the mortal trap to fire. It also, on the four piece, gives you the Pyrant's Pyre ability. This is yet another buff to this build that has come with this patch. This one now has 12% damage reduction, which basically means that you don't have to play. Uh, cocktail on top, right? Like before, I was playing Cocktail for like DR and uh, RR. Now I'm playing um, Elemental Storm for resistance reduction, and I'm playing just the standard like Pyrant's Pyre for damage reduction. This does mean, however, that well, you are gonna take a bit more damage than before because 12% is less than the around 17% that Demon Fire usually grants you. Uh, but like the, as I said, like the build is strong enough, you're gonna be able to manage. Drake sect leg guards for pants, serenity relic yet again for uh, relic. Um, <laughs> of course, you can play like Korvax relic instead, or like all the other like demolitionist fire relics are basically fine for more damage. Serenity kind of like just you know more defensive for hardcore especially. 
Chains of Orders of the Drangul, plus one demo and Aether to Final Conversion. You don't really care about the conversion here at all. Um, you can probably even play like something like a Tinker's Ingenuity Belt if you really want to like go very heavy on the regen side. But I don't think it's needed. And plus one like all skills to like Motor Trap is obviously very very good. Mark of Calamitious Desires for more damage to Motor Trap. Uh, Boots of Primordial Rage for like plus two points to the big one and also like 5% Fizzrus, up to 5% Fizzrus rather. Very nice pair of boots. Dawn Shard Grip. This one is a kind of like must have because it gives you like another Mortal Trap, like four uh, in total. And then you also have the Combustion Band for resistance reduction. Kind of a no brainer. And the Goddess Ring, of course, on this patch is like the nice one. Uh, I have an Off Mending one, which gives me a ridiculous regen. But honestly, if you get something like Off Readiness or Off the Drangul, which gives you like OADA or OADA armor and regen, then of course um, that is even better, arguably. For the amulet, I'm using the Threat of Mortality. Threat of Mortality is overall the like defensive choice for an elementalist giving you plus one all skills to both masteries as well as tons of regen, physical resistance and like max chaos and max vitality resistance. This amulet on the elementalist class specifically is just very very stacked, super strong amulet, rather defensive but overall like pretty insane. And uh, yeah that's pretty much it for this elementalist. Uh, check out the gameplay coming here, I have a SR 80 to 81 run prepared for you as well as well at least one of the three average, average kills for you to check out. I mean, I killed them three times as you can see, but uh, I think one video is going to be enough here for you guys, and then also one color guide or kill. So yeah, enjoy that. Uh, hope you're going to have fun with this build if you're playing it as well. And I hope to see you around on the next one. Thanks for watching. How far shall we go?
Mine. 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 Mine.